In this lesson, I want to explain uh, another effect tool called spline. As you can see, we have three different <coughs> going to the moon, three different arc that I want to connect them to each other because I want to explain some uh, option in spline. Bring a cloner and uh, first I want to make them uh, one. Right click and you can connect object and delete them to make them one unique but separate spline and for better understanding you can bring a coin here and make it smaller in a filter and bring a holding alt and clone that coin in a cloner, you can, um, it's a grid, it's not very important now. Because, oh, because I want to use the effector. You can uh, assign it to, do, to do, change it to the object and uh, click and drag this object to there, okay? And then change the offset or anything here, as you can see. This is an uh, not the thing that I want to explain. Uh, make it to the linear, any number that you want. It's not important. We want to use effector to um, assign the object of cloner on a spline. Okay, the cloner is selected. Go into the move graph, effector, and spline. This is an spline effector that assign to the cloner. In a spline, you have to define which spline do you want to recognize as the uh, as a main spline here. This is our spline. Click and drag it here, and as you can see, it's distribute on one segment of that all, this is a whole spline that it distributed just in this segment. And uh, in a segment mode, as you can see, we have three segments because we have three uh, uh, spline that we connected to each other. And here you can change the segment. In which segment do you want to uh, distribute? You can use an index or even a spacing. As you can see, you can use the even a spacing for changing the number of them you have to use the parameter of the um, cloner, not in a spline. As you can see, if you selected even spacing, yeah, nothing, select uh, any, this, uh, a lot of option will be disappear here. Or you can use a random, here you can change the seed. You can use a full spacing it means any number that you have, it's completely full in this spacing. I use the even spacing here. Here you can change the end, change the start, and the offset for uh, rotating them. You can animate them. Uh, as you can see, uh, the up the, the, the direction of them are wrong. You can correct it in uh, two methods. One is changing the orientation of the uh, the main object here. Okay. And the better way is going to the spline and here is up vector. You can change the up vector in x, y, and z and see the direction. Just changing to the 0 and 1 to as you can see, in some direction, you cannot. Another way is using a rail for uh, defining the uh, direction of the coin. You can uh, uh, control C and control V to copy this uh, spline here and using this spline as a rail, you can make it a smaller or bigger. Going to the spline and click and drag as a rail. And as you can see, all of the objects are facing to the that rail as a target. 
And the interesting part is if you select it, you can, as you can see, you can scale it and then you can change its position this as a target that all of the objects as a rail going toward it. You can change it as a target or uh, turn the target rail off. And as you can see, they are not just targeting that they are just changing the orientation with that okay but if you select the target the direction of the all object going to that target so it's uh, trailing as a target okay hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.